Hey there, Pastor Nikki here again for this week's children's sermon. I have here corn. You know, corn is one of the most amazing crops we have. Corn can be used to make all sorts of useful, useful products like ethanol fuel, shaving cream, paper products, rugs, paint, glue, aspirin, toothpaste, cleaning products, and of course, all kinds of food. Corn served another purpose, though, back in the book of Genesis. It saved an entire nation. You see, the ruler of Egypt, Pharaoh, had a dream. Two dreams, in fact. In one dream, he saw seven skinny cows devour seven fat cows. And then he saw seven shrunken, shriveled ears of corn devour seven fat, delicious ears of corn. These dreams troubled Pharaoh. And he did not know what they meant. When Pharaoh's butler heard about the dream, he told him about the prisoner he had met when Pharaoh had thrown the butler in jail. The prisoner's name was Joseph, and he was from the land of Canaan. Joseph had interpreted a dream for the butler when he was in prison. prison. So the butler believed that he could also interpret Pharaoh's dream. Needless to say, Joseph was brought before Pharaoh, and sure enough, Joseph interpreted the dream. There would be seven years of good harvest, followed by seven years of famine. Pharaoh was so impressed with Joseph that he made him the second in command and put Joseph in charge of storing the food they would need for the famine. By the time the famine struck, Joseph had already stored up enough food to get the entire nation of Egypt through the famine. But Egypt is not the nation I was talking about at the beginning of the story. You see, Joseph was the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, who God had promised to make a mighty nation out of. Joseph was one of his 11 sons of Jacob. And in case you're wondering how he came to be in jail in Egypt, I'll tell you, his brothers had sold him into slavery. Joseph was the favorite son. His father loved him more than the rest and made no secret about his favoritism. Not only that, but Joseph had several dreams of his own that one day his brothers would bow down before him. You can almost understand why his brothers hated him so much, can't you? But then one day Joseph's brothers did bow down before Joseph. The famine hurt them too, and their father sent them to beg for food. Joseph could have refused. He could have put them in prison or worse, without even giving them a trial. He was, after all, the second most powerful man in Egypt. But Joseph knew that God allowed everything to happen so that Joseph could save his own family, a family that would become the nation of Israel. It's not always easy to love your siblings, especially when you're doing or when they are doing wrong or you are doing wrong. But God put them in our lives for a reason. The same way he put Joseph in his brother's lives. Be thankful for the siblings you have, the family you have. Love them and always be willing to forgive them. A lot of friends and people will come and go in your life. But your brothers and sisters, especially those in Christ, will always be your brothers and sisters. And you never know. You may just need them one day. I hope you were blessed by this week's children's sermon. I look forward to seeing you soon.